Hello, this is Hawk the Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-2013, also known as the Reptilian Meme. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-2013, Object Class, Use Keter is now safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-2013 is created through global oldest aerosol of an aerosolized version of the Cardiff compound, distributed via foundation on aircraft, disguised as normal aircraft trails. Foundation employees affected by SCP-2013 are to be subject to regular class C amnestic administration to treat infection. Individuals refusing treatment are to be administered Class A amnestics and have their positions at the Foundation and terminated. All previous documentation regarding SCP-2013 has been archived for the sake of posterity. To view previous containment procedures, please input password. Access granted. All instances of SCP-2013 in a currently holding position within any world government are to be neutralized at any cost. Wild instances of SCP-2013 A as well as instances of SCP-2013 B are to be destroyed using Parker class weaponry. Information about SCP-2013 is to be disseminated publicly via television and radio broadcasts. Informa informative pamphlets and through various new media such as online video sharing sites and blogs. Foundation personnel are encouraged to publish their findings of SCP-2013 publicly in any manner possible to weaken the overall power of SCP-2013-A and the effectiveness of SCP-2013-B. Once approximately 20% of, of awareness of 2013 has been reached, the henceforth protocol is to be carried out. <sighs> Description SCP 2013 refers to Renner Class Mimetic Agent. SCP 2013 is read via visual, auditory, or tactile. Lives known to only work with the visual affected by 2013 can read and understand the Braille alphabet vectors and has an infection rate of approximately 72%. SCP 2013 causes affected individuals to, believe, to develop a belief in SCP 2013A. SCP-2013-A is allegedly an extraterrestrial race that has infiltrated various world governments, including the USA, United Kingdom, Iran, Russia, and North Korea. Individuals affected by 2013 cannot be cured, and but can be treated through regular amnestic consumption or administration. Further infection has been prevented by global disposal of the Cardiff compound. Currently, less than 1% of the the population of planet Earth believes in the existence of, of SCP-2013-A, with the highest concentration being in the United States, where 4% believe in the existence of SCP-2013-A. SCP-2013 in a or instance were previously believed to be actual anomalies as opposed to delusions caused by SV2013. For previous documentation, please input password. <sighs> SV2013 refers to two related anomalies. SV2013A is a humanoid species of extraterrestrials with reptilian characteristics believed to have originated from the Alpha Draconis star system. The average instance of SCP-2013 stands approximately 3 meters tall, with skin that is capable of changing color due to chromatophore cells, similar to those found in chameleons. SCP-2013-A instances are hematophagic and cannot survive without blood for more than 2 weeks at a time, and do not require any additional sustenance. Despite the fact that, that they have been known to eat other forms of food, if an instance of SP-2013A dies violently, their bodies are made into a large quantity of nitrogen-based gas whose molecular chains resemble some sort of amnestic used by its foundation. 
causing memory loss in all individuals within a 50 meter radius. The SCP-2013-B refers to technology used by SCP-2013-A to alter your appearance to resemble human beings. SCP-2013-B has several variations, including being a pill ingested by SCP-2013-A on a weekly basis to alter your DNA and body chemistry to resemble a human's, to skin suits that act as size-altering disguises to SCP-2013-A instances, to permanent cosmetic attraction to um, alteration to their features. SCP 2013 A are functioning immortal, provided that they a, a environment volume of approximately 5 liters of blood at least once every two weeks. However, SCP 2013 as a whole can, we can provide that humans are both aware of the existence of SCP 2013 and believe that it exists. For example, if an individual views an autopsy video of SCP 2013 of an SCP-2013-A instance, but does not believe the, the instance to be a genuine article, SCP-2013 suffers no de detrimental effects. However, if one out of five individuals viewing a live feed of an SCP-2013-A specimen believe even to be real, this specimen will be weakened to the point where it can be killed using small arms fire with no detrimental effects. Addendum. The Hereford Protocol. The Hereford Protocol is a global series of military coups and assassinations to be carried out against SCP-2013. Once information saturated has, once information saturation has reached 20%. During this, a series of coordinated attacks across several countries, including that expunged, are to carry out to eliminate SCP-2013 instances. By this point, SP-2013-B instances will have ceased to be effective in disguising SP-2013-A as humans, and the populace of countries where SP-2013 has control will begin to question the legitimacy of their rule. Known SP-2013-A instances that will be neutralized during the, hence the Hereford Protocol include all current and former pr presidents of Blank as well as their families, several actors and musicians including Blank, Blank, and Blank, the Rose families of Blank, Blank, and Blank, that expunge, that expunge, Blank percent of GOI-02, who block the chaos insurgency. The Hereford Protocol is expected to be carried out at some time in late 2011 or early 2012. Addendum! On, I think, June 5th, blank, I believe this is of SCP-2013-A died of natural causes. The Foundation took the body into custody for autopsy on finding the alleged instance of SCP-2013-A was, in fact, a normal human being. Further inspection by unaffected personnel showed that all deceased instances of SCP-2013-A in storage were, in fact, human beings. All reports on SCP-2013-A were written by individuals affected by SCP-2013. <clears throat> Given this information, we are cancelling the here the here for or the protocol. New confirmation procedures have been written regarding SCP-2013. That's from L52. Now let's just go ahead and log in here. Access denied. You have attempted to access a restricted file. Foundation agents will be dispatched to your location if this window is not closed. <clears throat> It all comes down to money. We couldn't get funding in the early days. The various governments of the world refused to fund us, and we didn't have SCPs that made endless amounts of gold or jewels, or could be used to cheat the stock market. The President of the United States said no. The Tsar said no. The Crown said no. They didn't believe what we were doing was right or useful. Despite our lack of resources, we had one thing and, and we could use. SCP-2013. 
neither of the files you just read about SCP-2013 is the actual one. The original, original file doesn't exist anymore. But the gist of it was this. SCP-2013 was a clutch of eggs that we found at the bottom of the ocean in 1900. Brought up by a fishing trawler. The eggs were dead, but the Foundation kept them as a curiosity. In the early days, the Foundation was obsessed with bringing the dead back to life thanks to Frankenstein. He tried to revive the eggs in various ways, from supporting the embryos outside of the egg, which fell, to electrocuting them, which cooked them, to just plain incubating them, which also cooked them. Eventually, we tried an experimental compound that's been that's long since been lost in history. It was made up of mercury, iridium, radium, and a few other elements that science didn't know o o o about. And then the eggs hatched. They acted just like children, but they looked like iguanas mixed with gorillas. They had blood chemistry we had never seen before, and could mimic human speech and behavior to a startling degree. At the same time, the Foundation had been developing disguises to hide its agents in unfriendly lands. And they were so high quality, a 50 year old man could wear a face that made him look like an 18 year old girl. And except for or perhaps the height, it would be impossible to tell the difference. The creatures that hatched from SCP 2013 were corruptive and viewed us as their parents. They also matured very quickly and grew to adult size within six months. All we needed to do was educate them about the world at large, put them in a skin suit, and then we set them out, out into the world to, do, to be the best at their job. They were politicians, writers, singers, actors, kings, queens, inventors, agents. They were all important in their own way. Five out of the last 17 US presidents have been these creatures as of 2012. The Queen of England got replaced long ago. Ooh, right, this puzzle is kind of old. And her family doesn't know it. Our great success was probably infiltrating a major cell of the chaos insurgency back in the, in the 1970s. Over the years, we've read into over 1,500 instances of SCP-2013-A, and technology improved to make their disguises more convincing. We could alter their height, their DNA, even permanently sculpt their appearance so that they never ran the risk of being exposed. That's how the Foundation got a large part of their funding, up until they discovered that we could literally make gold from lead using simple fission and fusion reactions. Platinum is actually simpler to make, but that's beside the point. We eventually discontinued the SP-2013 program and ran them up and essentially expunged them from existence. We thought we had killed them all, except for a couple we kept alive for the sake of testing. And then we got word that the Global Cult Coalition had been infiltrated by an SCP-2013-A instance. They had made their way up the ranks quite a way, to the point that they were consultants for the ambassador of a Sveklo-Slavica. I cannot say these words. Slavikia. Nobody was wise until we received a consensus report from the agent itself. We informed the GOC it was attained and written off as an isolated event. We thought that was the end of it until the elections happened. A small constituency in England elected its MP for the term, and then we found out that all, the, all of the candidates were actually SCP-2013-A instances. We didn't know about this until after the election, and after that, it was too late to take any of them out. They were public figures, they were in the media, and any action against them would draw suspicion. We found that on their own, SCP-2013-A had spread all over the globe. For all intents and purposes, they ruled the world. More than half, but less than three-fourths of the world's governments are controlled by them. We classified them as Keter, made them aliens, and said that they were effectively mortal to discourage any assassinations, but we weren't without hope. There was always a secondary effect. 
SCP-2013-A, for some reason, got weaker when people observed them. One of the researchers studying them called it a detrimental anti-mimetic effect, or the more the people the more people know about them, the less effective they are. They grew less intelligent, lost muscle mass, underwent osteoporosis, and all around just became easier to kill. The more of them there were, the less harmful the over effects was. Mimetic dilution was the phrase that was thrown around. So we began a plan to kill them. Correct the masquerade, however so slightly, revealed the existence of them to the world at large to cancel out the ma a medic delusion, and it was working for a while. People who were called crackpots by their peers realized the truth, that their government, their world, was not their own. They were called mad, but soon the whole world would see the truth. The program was cancelled. And the, it was all just a weird meme explanation slapped on, t on it. After the corpse was found, the Cardiff compound was engineered to prevent anyone else to give in to what was called a crackpot conspiracy theory. And distributed through airplanes via chemtrail. But they are real, but for some reason the ore was passed down. Hmm. It has come to my attention that we have incorrectly documented SCP-2013. SCP-2013-A is non-existent, and it, as is evident, in spite of the executions of several purported SCP-2013-A instances, as well as the day samples, and the recently recorded autopsy. Gentlemen, it appears we have been had. SCP-2013 was nothing more than a harmless medic agent that caused mass paranoia and may as interpret certain people in positions of fame or power as something not of this world. How this happened, we don't know. Who made or even how it was made, we don't know. Why it was made, we don't know. But we will find out. SCP-2013 is to be reclassified as safe and its containment file rewritten for the sake of context and current proce procedures are to be archived and are accessible to any researcher with level 4 2013 or higher clearance. Secure, contain, protect. 052. By now, it has been more than 60 seconds since you opened this page. I apologize for any consequences that may come out, come out, out as a result of you reviewing this document, but it eases me knowing that the truth is out, even if I am the one that is crazy. Secure, contain, protect. <laughs> I don't know what that was. That was the SCP-2013. The name, I mean, the number 2013 is about when this sort of thing was popular, huh? If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Oh yeah, and I should probably put a disclaimer. Obviously, this is an SCP article. It's not real. No, there aren't aren't lizard folk in charge of, of the world. That doesn't happen. Anyway, who knows what I'm going to do tomorrow. Until then, goodbye!